right, folks, today is Thursday, March 9th, 2023. It's about six in the evening, and I finished up for the afternoon here. What I did today was I sanded down the top rack here. I got down, I got all the, I don't know what it's called, but it's what the factory used around windshields and it never dries. I guess it's equivalent to the 3M bedding and glazing. Um, but it was all caked on up under here where the roof rail weather strip goes. So I got that all down. Once you get the most of it, the wax and grease remover solvent based uh, really cleans it up. So after that, so this has been sandblasted, the top rack, whenever I had the floors and the dash sandblasted. So uh, it was sandblasted and then we got it in epoxy. I mean, when the guy sandblasted it, he... Uh, he really wasn't focusing on the top rack. He just kind of blew by it. So there were some areas that he didn't hit. Um, so what I did was I, once he sandblasted, I got this in epoxy. And then today I sanded it by hand with 180. And some 80 grit on the DA with the interface across the header bow, which is extremely solid, so that's good. The top rack is in really, really good shape. Uh, I opted to not take it off the car because it's never been off the car, so it's exactly where GM put it, so I kinda like that. Uh, it's already set, it lined up good whenever, whenever this thing was together with the latches. And so I kind of like that. I, I don't want to go down a rabbit hole taking apart something that, that already functions pretty good. So let me see if I can let this thing down here a little bit by hand. So I DA'd right here, got it down to metal, DA'd the whole header bow. Like I said, we got all that caulking off and it's pretty ugly looking right now. But tomorrow, I'm going to paint it. Uh, it's either going to be gloss or matte black, but I'm leaning more towards a matte satin. I'm going to paint it on the car. Uh, shouldn't, shouldn't be that hard. I mean, that stuff, is, it's a single stage, and it sprays just like spray paint. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, my plan is to get this thing uh, in black and then let it sit you know for a few days a week or so fully cure and then wrap it up completely wrap it up completely in paper and plastic and uh and then put it down and it's done and then when the time comes i already have the top for it so when the time comes all i gotta do is is put the top on. I don't have to worry about putting anything together, lining anything up. It'd be protected from all the future overspray that's going to be happening in this room. So that's my plan. Um, rather than take the rack out, you know, chrome it, which I don't care about that stuff, or powder coat it. Uh, I wouldn't powder coat it together because all these rivets are all going to get locked up just like some hood hinges do and big mess so right now this thing moves pretty freely you know, that's one hand and i like that so i don't want to go down a rabbit hole like i said so anyways so what i did this evening is just prepped it basically scuffed it up and uh got it completely gutted all the tack strip is gone uh, any of that 3M or I don't know it wasn't 3M back then but any of that stuff is gone any of the heavy scaling is gone so we're ready to roll um, do that tomorrow then probably Sunday go ahead and sand this dash down get that in epoxy and once that's done I'm going to start on the rockers and work my way back so anyways bring you guys back tomorrow once I get to mixing and spraying, I'm going to do a little bit of masking, but not too much. Not too much. Probably mask the dash. I'm not really worried about masking over there because I'm going to raptor line 
basically from the tow board all the way back so I can mask that whenever I do that. It's a lot easier to mask the rack than it is to mask around the rack. So anyways, enough yakking. Bring you guys back tomorrow when I start spraying. All right, here we are. It's Friday the next day and I'm getting ready to spray this rack. So I kind of just halfway masked off the quarters with some, with some uh, plastic just to keep the overspray down and don't want any type of weird contamination or anything. And I think I'm gonna spray the rack halfway up just how it is I can get all the way to the back here um, I can get inside I can get the header bow from inside and then uh, this is real easy get to that real easy and here I'll probably have to use a step stool or something to get up there but I, I think it'll be all right so what I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be using this Eastwood it's high temp ceramic engine paint uh, it's probably not right for this application, but in my mind, it's black matte paint. Courtesy of Bobby. I'm sure he won't mind that I'm borrowing it. Um, I do remember when I sprayed the frame that it was struggling going through a 1.4 tip. And when I upped it to a 1.8, it flowed, you know, way better. Um... So it's either going to be a 1.8 or I might throw a splash of reducer in it and, and get it through a 1.4. I feel like my 1.4 is a lot more accurate than the 1.8, so I think I might just reduce it. I think two coats will do the trick. Again, it's a top rack. We don't want to overthink it. I mean, this area right here, once the weather strip is in, you're never going to see. You're never going to see across the front there when the top is installed. You're not going to see the tops of these. You're not going to see the top of this. I mean, you're going to see, you know, you're going to see that. You're going to see this when the top is up. And when the top is down, you're going to see this piece right here and along the header bow. And essentially, that's it. You'll see this bottom of that when the top is up from inside the car. So we don't want to put too much thought into it. We don't want to rack our brain over it. We just want to put some black paint on it that will last and won't chip, won't flake, and won't corrode. So, let me get to mixing. I really thinking like, so it mixes four to one. Probably do something like, like five ounces to start, four to one, maybe six ounces, four to one to one, or four to one to two, make seven ounces, and that's probably gonna be enough. I'm going to cone the fan in so we're not wasting a bunch of material. So bring you guys back. Maybe get you guys set up on the tripod while we do this. All right, here we are. It actually took a lot more paint than I thought it was going to take. It took a uh, total. I mixed up about 15 ounces to get three coats. Eh, maybe 16 to get eh, two and a half, two and a half. But uh, overall, it wasn't bad. It did get a lot of overspray, surprisingly. I didn't cover the tail panel back here, but got a little bit on there. Not too bad. So that's it. It's drying. Uh, not quite dry. Still, still tacky. But that's matte black. So actually, I had to let it down to, to spray it. I mean, I sprayed it like that, and then I, then I put it down. And then I sprayed and was able to get the, the header bow. Uh, so this paint actually covered 180 grit scratches relatively easy and actually the header bow is 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 80 grit DA so it's pretty thick stuff so let's say it's matte matte black and this is the area you see when the top is down right there folds down you got a weather strip that goes all along here Weather strip that goes along here is five hundred dollars for some weather strip. Actually, to weather strip this whole car, it's it's over a thousand dollars, which is insane. But whatever. I like the matte black. I'm glad I went with that instead of gloss. I think it looks a little more classy. I do have a top. Actually, I have two tops for this thing. I have a canvas top, and then I have a pinpoint vinyl, which I'm going to go with the pinpoint vinyl. So I do have a green canvas top for sale. I got it on eBay. I got it listed on eBay right now. 
It's 59.60 only. It's a forest green German uh, canvas stay fast. Won't be using it. The vinyl actually came back in stock. Uh, I was told that the green vinyl that I now have had been discontinued from before COVID. So since like 2019 and it wasn't coming back. So I bought the green canvas uh, last year sometime. And then about two months ago, the green vinyl's back in stock. <laughs> so now I'm stuck with two tops, but it'll sell eventually. So like I say, that's going to be it for the top rack. Overall, it wasn't a very hard project, just a little tedious. And uh, so what I'm going to do, like I say, is I'm going to let this dry probably till Sunday. Probably just like that. And then I'm going to mask it up real good and put it down. And it's going to stay down until the car's painted. Moving forward, I think I'm going to go ahead and sand this dash and get this dash in epoxy to match the firewall. And then the dash, the firewall, cowl will be locked down, ready for paint. The top will be done. And I'm moving on to the rockers. So I hope you guys enjoy this little update. Thanks for watching. Y'all stay tuned for more work.